Pete Gluzak. We're, uh, we're, we're looking for spawners. I was talking about how I look for spawning fish types of habitat. And uh, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how I fish and how I look for spawners uh, in the springtime. But there's a couple things you wanna take into account. We've got a little bit of breeze blowing here um, right now in the afternoon. It seems like the wind's picking up a little bit. Now, wind in this case, when you're trying to sight fish, can make things very, very challenging. Uh, so you want to try to find opportunities to look for look in areas that are somewhat protected from the wind. A chop on the water is going to minimize your visibility. It's going to cut it in half, almost eliminate it if the wind's strong enough. You won't be able to see uh, hardly anything. Even in clear water, it'll cut your visibility down to a foot or, or less sometimes. So by you can see it in this little pocket here, it's protected from the wind. It's a lot slicker, so we're going to be able to see deeper into the water. I always want to use things like that in my favor whenever I'm looking for fish, whenever I'm sight fishing. We're back in a, in a protective cove, and basically I'm, I'm not even looking where I'm casting. I'm just basically blind casting this weightless Senko up in front of me. My eyes are on the bank. I'm looking for light spots. I'm looking for, uh, and that's a typical way that you find a bed, is you're going to find a, a, a light spot. You know, in a dark bottom, you'll find a little white spot. But, uh, you know, in other scenarios, beds can be dark spots. Um, but what you're looking for is something that's, um, something that's a little bit different. But oftentimes, it's a lot lighter, and I see, I see some lighter areas up here. And I'm getting my boat right up on it because what I'm trying to do right now is I'm not actually targeting these fish to catch yet. I'm trying to see if they're spawning. I'm looking for signs of spawning to tell me whether or not I can, I need to make the turn from pre-spawn fishing patterns to uh, bed fishing patterns, to spawn fishing patterns. So I'm looking for signs that there could be, uh, could be bass spawning in here. And, and by continuing to blind cast this bait up in front of my boat, if there, are, if there are bass that have pulled into the spawning phase, they will be up here cruising and you will catch almost by accident sometimes fish just cruising, uh, cruising in the shallows and uh, you know, looking for spawning beds or looking to make a spawning bed. Other things I'm looking for. I'm looking for signs of other fish life. If I see gar present up in the shallows, carp, bluegills present up in the shallows, I'm gonna, that's a, that's a surefire indication that there's, re, there's really close to some spawning activity going on. All those fish come up here in the shallows in the warm water. A lot of those fish are coming up in an effort to try to feed on the eggs that the largemouth are about to drop. So if you see those up in the shallows, you can, you can bet the spawn's gonna be close by. But you wanna use everything in your favor uh, during this time of year to be able to see fish. Uh, Cloudy days are very, very difficult to see fish. Early in the morning, your visibility through the water is very, very limited. Oftentimes, 10, 11 o'clock is when I start really looking for fish for a couple different reasons. Number one, your visibility is much deeper when the sun gets higher, and the sun also has its tendency to pull fish up on the bank. And I see, I see some minnows here. I'm looking for signs of life. I'm seeing just a little bit of a sign of life coming right there. So I'm looking in protected areas, I'm looking for light spots, I'm casting up in front of me, and I'm getting up close. I'm trying to push these fish out so that they'll show themselves to me. And in this particular pocket we didn't see any, so I'm going to keep going down the bank. My effort here is not to, to fish during this period. Really I'm just looking. I'm, I'm fishing with a weightless bait just because it gives me a chance to to catch a fish while I'm doing this procedure. Because my main focus here is just trying to determine what phase these fish are in. So I'll move pretty quick. Then the reason why you move so fast is Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.